Welcome back to the channel. Absolutely stifling outside as always at this time of year. So back inside, I'm trying to work on the bottom side of the staircase and the lintel. So this morning I've just took most of the render off that was sticking out, which will allow the plaster wall to go flush. And I'll show you what offcuts we're going to try and complete it with and the plan going forward. So there was a lot of pink render just like chopped off near that. So I've gone up that plasterboard line, took the wires in a bit further, and there was a big pink, pink patch up there. And for those that don't know, this is that, well, it, you might think it's obvious, but this is the exterior wall of the main house, which goes all the way across. And these are the footings of the main house. But in order to get this plasterboard flush with the cement line, all the pink render that used to be the house, but now it's painted white, it was actually the width of the plasterboard. So it, for people who haven't seen the really early videos, all this render had to be chipped off by hand in order for us to get this plasterboard flush and this nice cement line. So that's why we're struggling to just keep chipping it away off. But this is the last bit now. And yeah, we're hoping for like a straight piece up here underneath the lintels, across the top and down the left-hand side. These are the offcuts that we've got left over from doing the other side of the ceiling. So you can see we've just got a few little bits, two wide ones that could do for the sides and underneath the lintel. So let's see how far we go. Okay, so I've got my two sides ready. The left side will just need trimming a little bit to make it look okay. But all the bricks have been chiseled and it sits nice and flat. My ladder's ready. I'm doing this top half or three quarter section first, which is this panel. Got my dob mix. Let's go. Okay, so the edges are looking pretty good once they're made up with the lime plaster. Now this is my underneath the lintel piece. And you can see I'm just trying to like fabricate some sort of thing here. So as I was saying, I don't need to try and balance it. It's now down there. I just need a little small piece to go next to it. And that side's done. So it's looking pretty good. I just used a bit of my waste hard dob on the underneath there. So you can see how we're gonna get a new lime lime mix to rebuild this bit and level off the corner. But it's looking pretty good. And then yeah, I'm gonna, gonna cut this bit and then try and use these skinny ones here to build up the top. So let's see how it goes. Now I'm going to try and get this bang on baby, alright? I need it from the width of that plaster board. So this should be a meat, shouldn't it? Uh, yeah, I guess Right, I'm guessing without looking. 96. Ooh. 
drive it. Alright, we've, we've gained two centimeters, but that's probably because the pillars are moved a little as much as we'd like. So let's do 101. Can you just help me a minute with a stick or something? Yeah. I'm, I'm up the ladder. Okay, so I've got the underside of the lintel on with Nisha's help with a big stick. You can see my little blobs of dob. And if we're not too concerned about this area, we can make that good. Sharpen the corners and build up that corner as well. Because you can see how we chamfered it to that other side before finishing this front corner. It's looking pretty good. I'll show you what side from down here. Okay, so I've got the three main panels on now. I'm going to leave patching up at the top of the lintel because I'd rather build up a bit so there's not big voids behind the board. So my next stage of attack is to get my next mix ready with a bit of plaster adhesive, sand and lime, the VAR mix, and start bringing that corner back round there and on the top side of where the edge is of that plaster board lintel area. So let's see how far we get. So this is what it's looking like at the minute. And you might have heard in the previous video that we've got a bit of an idea going on coming up the stairs that we might reveal. So throughout this video, you would have seen we've got some cardboard and it's mimicking the shapes of some of our old photo frames we brought over from the UK, family pictures and things like that. And we're trying to make a gallery feature out of them there. So stay tuned for any updates. We still haven't got a final design and we've still got a few more to dust off from the original courier drop off. So that's what's going on over here. But you can see how we've managed to get rid of that little void that the plasterboard had against the chamfered rounded area of the old finished bit. So now we've flushed it all off. That's currently drying. And at first glance, I'm actually super happy with the way this has been built up. And you can see in the earlier part of the video where it was always chamfered, but now it's looking super smart. And same on this corner. And we've just got a little bit left to do. So this is just like, yeah, it's like a first scratch coat everywhere around the house. The final vision will be the whole 
plastered with the smooth sharp edge finish with all the corner beads done but obviously like it's a long way off so we're trying to make it as best as we can lock in all the dust seal it all and get everything as close as to final finish as possible so you can imagine when it's all matched with the corner beads with the skin plaster it will look super sharp so we've actually ran out of our last bag of our we've got a cup of plaster board adhesive left so we're kind of trapped now until the next time we go to the builder's merchant and that will allow us to finish off this top corner building that up it'll also allow us to dob over the seams you can see there's a bit of tape there and i've taped up the side we also want to build up up, up here like i said earlier so it's not a huge void and i've taped down there ready as well so that's a bit of an update on the hallway. We've got to as far as we can for now. So stay tuned and we should be topping it up and finish it off pretty soon. And really happy with the way the lights are as well. So thank you very much for watching so far. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe if you want to see more. We really do appreciate it and it goes a long way. And thank you very much for watching and ciao for now.